we are now ready to do the final piece, which is the tire on the outside of the inner part of the wheel. So again, new design, create a sketch, and we want to do the first, the same size, the uh, first circle, the same size as the outer dimension of the inner wheel. So that was 50. We then draw another circle, uh, about 60 or 65, up to you how thick you want your tire to be. Finish the sketch. Uh, extrude it in the same thickness, which I believe was 15. Click OK. We can then use the fillet tool to fillet the outer edges of the tire so it looks a little bit more like a tire shape. Again, this is quite a basic shape. You can get much more advanced in drawing tire shapes if you want to. Again, there is lots of tutorials out there on the internet already. So I'll draw four. Maybe a bit too much. Three. Okay, <clears throat> so to, to do the, a through head, there's tons of different ways of doing this. This is probably the most basic way, again, of doing it, but creates a, a pattern around the outside, which looks something like a, a tar thread. So to do this, I'm going to offset a plane. So I'm going to click on this plane. So again, I'm going to construct offset plane. Uh, you'll see the three stands of planes. Yep. So I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to drag this until it's just outside yep. the actual circumference of the wheel. It doesn't really matter where it is, as long as it's on just on the outside. Then I'm going to click on Create Sketch. I'm going to create a sketch onto this one. So what I want to do now is I'm going to find the center. So I'm going to draw a line from here to here. And then I'm going to go back here and find center. Just draw another line out from the center of this. To make sure it's the center. I think that's it. and make it a construction line by right clicking again. Same with this line. You should be able to check that dimension. Seven point five, yep, so that's in the center. Again, remember, really useful tool to be able to turn things through angles up here, or just left click and drag to see straight on to your drawing. So again, line tool, I'm going to draw a line out like this. I can set an angle. So let's say 12. No, and then go to the next one, and we'll say an angle of 135. Again, you can make this up, you can have a curve, you can do so many things here. Uh, then press offset. Oh, again, there's two ways of doing this. I can draw another line from here and do the same. So 12 and 135 to make sure it's at the same angle. So it's symmetrical, or you can just reflect this across the central axis. Uh, then I'm going to press the offset tool again. Going to click on that. Going to click on that, and you get that parallel line on the inside of here. Again, yeah, don't want to be that thick. 0.5. It's half a mil. Click OK. I'm just going to join up these lines at the end here to make it a proper sketch, so you get a proper profile. 
finish the sketch, turn it upside so you can see where it's going to Then I'm going to extrude this down into the tire slightly. Don't go too deep. Make sure it's cut and click OK. And you've got one groove like that through the tire. Okay, it's not realistic, it's not the way a real thread would work. You can get much more advanced tutorials, but it's just to give the impression of a tire thread. So it's obviously only once, so now we want to pattern this. So under create, we go to pattern, and again, a circular pattern. So under pattern type, choose features. And down here is a record of all the different features you've created. So if I just click on that, you'll see it highlights the feature, which was this extrusion. You can see it's selected here. Now you want the axis, so the axis is essentially a circle. And you can see, if you go back, you can see it actually is created, showing you where of number two, because at the moment the quantity is only three. But obviously we want a lot more than that, so we can create um, as many as you want, say 24, see what it looks like. Maybe even want more than that, 32. Looks okay. Looks okay. Take a bit of time. There you go. So you've now got something which looks like a tire thread. For a toy, for a child's toy. Not a real tire thread in a real car. A bit more complicated to do that. But again, if you're more interested in doing this sort of thing using pattern tools, you can just Google it. Google how to make tire threads in Fusion 360, and I'm sure there will be lots and lots of tutorials out there you can use to customize this design. Okay, so let's save that. And that is all the parts done. Well done.